Hey guys, thought I'd do another update. So we're at uh, day four, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday, day four. Um, my eyebrow is worse and you can probably see my face is a little bit worse. So I can't, I now can't raise my eyebrow like I could after the acupuncture. So obviously the acupuncture was quite instant, but wore off type thing like the muscles have gone back um to what i wouldn't actually i wouldn't say i'm worse i'm just back to what i was before the acupuncture um at the moment eating is the worst thing um i can't like blow my mouth unless i'm holding my lips so you know if you're trying to rinse your mouth after brushing your teeth and stuff like that cannot do that um it just all spills out one side of my mouth um yeah so eating and drinking is quite a struggle if i go that's yeah like it's sort of coming back because it was more this way but i can sort of straighten my mouth so it's a, yeah it's a little bit better here but the eye so the eyebrow is yeah i think that's just nerves they just don't know what to do um, I can now close my eye as much, like a fair bit more than the other day. So, yeah, it's still not closing, but it's closing more, um, which is a good sign. I just went to the doctor, which is why I'm in the car, and he said um, all my bloods were fine. The a MRI was fine. It was just showing that my white blood cell count was off. And he said on the report, it shows white blood cell count is off due to viral load. So that's what I was going to talk to you guys about is the um, the virus that he thinks I got it from, which was chickenpox. So he's saying that I've um, picked up chickenpox somewhere and I've never actually had chickenpox as a child. So this could be my time to have the chickenpox. Um, I did have a situation a week, about a week and a half ago where I had, I thought I had mozzie bites all over the back of my legs, but it must have been, the, well, could have been the chicken pox. Um, and then I was feeling a bit off with an earache, which I thought was an ear infection. Um, and that was, yeah, all like a week and a half ago. And then a week, yeah, on Sunday, so sort of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just gone my ear infection got worse by the Sunday. I was quite lethargic on the Sunday. Um, it, I, yeah, I was doing things like garlic drops in my ear, Panadol, nothing was working. And then obviously when I went to bed Sunday night, um, I had quite a tra traumatic dream, which I'm not going to talk about that on here yet. Um, and woke up, you know, like heart was racing. I was shaking. It felt very real in the dream. It just felt like a real, like it was real. And you know, when we're dreaming, our subconscious doesn't actually know what's real and what's not. It just thinks it's all real. So um, it's obviously taken that on as an emotional load. And because I've had the viral infection inside me, and then you've had an emotional um, trauma of some sort through the dream, that's actually then created a stress response in the body, in the nervous system. And because the immune system's a little bit low, it you know, this is what's happened. So um, if you know what, you know, that that's quite a common thing. Like if you have a traumatic experience and your immune system's low and your sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight, just goes shoom, through the roof, you can create yourself a physical trauma, which is like for some people, it could be they spark up cancer. They could be uh, MS or an epileptic fit or... Yeah, this is where stuff like this can really happen. So that's why, um, and, I, and I talk about this a lot where, you know, looking after yourself is, is a really big deal. And as you know, I, you guys know, I, I do look after myself a lot. Um, but obviously there's just been a circumstance of events over the last week and a half that's been, um, you know, one on top of the other. And I've missed that point of, of taking care of myself or it's just been too much to, uh, all at once. Um, and so, yeah, so this week I've been really just honing back in on taking care of myself again. Um, yeah, being, you know, putting that resilience back into my body in a gentle way um, to, you know, not be hard on myself um, and just try and 
try and rest as much as possible, which I find hard, but rest in a way where it's like an active rest. So nice, gentle walks on the beach, um, meditation, talking to certain friends that I find, you know, really, I, I really find good support from, yeah, and just stuff like that. So right now it's just about that self-care and, um, I'm not getting much sleep with this either, as you can probably see by the tiredness in my face. I'm not getting much sleep with this. Um, as I said, food and, and drinking is really hard. Um, every morning I seem more emotional than in the afternoon. So it's only like seven, like five past seven here in the morning. And thank goodness my doctor can see me that early. <laughs> so it doesn't interrupt my kids' days and stuff. Um, but yeah, so mornings I seem quite emotional afternoon by lunchtime I come good and afternoon I'm fine and ha loving life again <laughs> so it's just like a roller coaster all day every day at the moment but I'm gonna ask my acupuncturist to do acupuncture daily so I can try and get this eyebrow back hopefully do more with closing of the eye um I've got to do a lot of physiotherapy exercises on my face, like all on this side, just pulling my face back, pushing things up, trying to blow bubbles and, and you know, move the mouth so it's symmetrical. Um, and we'll just see what happens in another few days. Thanks for listening, guys.